But today we are here to see this small robot. It's a robot that works underground. This is really cool. It kind of looks like a Mars rover. Yes, it has a unique build. The robot weighs 8 kilograms. It has six rubber wheels. And it's controlled by a remote control. This robot is used to inspect the sewage pipes that run underground. This is an image that the robot filmed in a sewage pipe. It clearly shows where the pipe is out of position. It locates the areas that need to be repaired or replaced. What is this? It's a mock sewage pipe. We use it to hold test runs with the robot. He showed us how the robot moves. The robot makes its way over the bumps and easily rolls through the round pipe. So it travels through the pipes. It's a bit like how a mole digs through the ground. The Takumi controls the robot with ease. Okay, I'll give it a go. <laughs> well, having said that, can I operate it? Yes, of course. It's very easy. Okay, here it goes then. Oh, it went in so easily. This is great. Anyone can operate it by simply pressing the advance button. This is one of the robot's greatest features. There have been other inspection robots, but they had complicated controls, and only trained inspection engineers could operate them. This made the inspection fees quite high. Because the Takumi's robot can be controlled from above ground by just one person, it substantially reduces the costs. What innovative features does this revolutionary robot have? What I focused on the most during the development stage was the mechanism that would keep it running upright. The secret to keeping it upright was in the wheels. The wheels of conventional robots were vertical and lined parallel to each other. So, if they lost their balance, then they were unable to stabilize and toppled over. On the other hand, the wheels of the Takumi's robot are tilted in an inverted V-shape. The robot is placed sideways in the pipe and put into action. After it goes back and forth a few times, the robot gradually returns to an upright position. On top of that, even when there's a curve or a bump, the robot doesn't tilt and keeps a steady footing. This is how it moves steadily through the pipes and inspects it. The idea for the robot came from an experience that Takumi had when he was younger. As an elementary school student, he used to play in big earthenware pipes. This provided him with a hint. To keep my balance, I used to spread out my legs when walking through. I was able to keep my balance and walk faster that way. And that experience helped you develop this robot? Yes, very much. It is now also used to inspect the underground piping of railroads and highways. The robot has begun receiving attention from other countries as well. It is being used to inspect oil pipelines in the Middle East. We asked the Takumi why he thinks the robot is gaining popularity. There's an old saying, simple is best. The simpler the mechanism, the less likely it is to malfunction and the easier it is to use. I think the most important thing is to have the skills needed to make anything that a client requests. 
To tackle these issues, the company developed a method of forming the plastic pipe inside the existing pipe while pushing it through. This self-propelled pipe-forming method can retrofit new pipes in 